Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the news. Let's get into it. How much I know they tired of me. Honestly, don't give a fuck about who in front of me. All right, welcome back. I usually put the best news at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Um, or you can skip the end if you want. I don't, I don't know. I'm not your mom. So first off, we have eight years membership, 500,000 ACs, and nine years played rewards for the tracker for the achievement shop. So if you don't know what this is, it's basically like they give you rewards for doing certain things in the game. You can check these in your uh, ba ba ba. If you go to here, not there, not there. You don't go there. You go to badges, achievements, and scroll to the left here. You can see all of your achievements, how many ACs you spent, stuff like that. So, and there's certain achievements for a certain amount of playtime, AC, stuff like that. I don't really need to explain this, you probably know, but they're adding a Sword Haven Castle House, a Bright Fortress uh, House, and a Shadowfall House, which all have color customization rooms, hair and appearance rooms, and a Bank Room, which I think Bank Room is a new thing added just for these uh, but they already had put a house item in the game that if you click on it is your bank and most players that have these reward ha are at nine years played 500,000 ACs and eight year membership will have bank pets uh, which you can just have anywhere and click on anywhere in the game not just in your house although I do like the idea of uh, a bank in your house is it necessary no not really and is this a, and a lot of people were saying that this reward isn't really what they wanted for like really high, this is like the highest tier rewards in the game right now. And it's, a lot of people were a little disappointed about this. You can tell me your thoughts about it in the comment section below, of course. Okay, moving on from that, we have a Wheel of Fortune added to the game. I, hopefully there's no copyright with the TV show there. Um... So that's kind of an interesting thing. You can spin it. It's a one time per person and you get 25% more AC, 50% more AC, a free armor. Now I want to know what that free armor is. If anyone knows, tweet it at me or reply with a comment on the video. And Asuka said uh, it's still being experimented on. It's a promo. Uh, so I didn't get this to pop up in game. I couldn't. I tried on two different accounts, cleared my cache, tried a different browser, all that stuff. Didn't work. Uh, so... <laughs> I didn't get it to appear, so maybe they removed it from the game, but maybe not. Tell me if you got this to appear and what you won uh, if you got to spin the wheel in game. All right, Krong with a brand new armor. Uh, reminds me of an armor he think I think he put out last Black Friday or around that time uh, last year. Uh, but the helmets look really good. The armor looks really good. Nice detail. Weapons, badass. And uh, you can see a zoomed in version right here with the helmet. I swear I've seen this in, I, someone probably knows the name of the set, uh, but yeah, this looks cool, love the mask, the hairstyles, all that stuff, uh, you can look forward to that in the next Evil Corp event coming soon, that's what I said in the replies to this tweet, uh, on these tweets, where people are asking what this was for, uh, Evil Corp, uh, we saw a, in the last news video, Bido made some Twilly robots for Evil Corp, uh, so it looks like that's going to be an event coming on up in the future. All right, Bido here with what is most likely Black Friday items uh, based on the sword recolor and all that stuff and how it's a recolor of his personal armor. Uh, very cool looking. And uh, yeah, that's a follow up on the last week's episode where we saw just the armor, but now we got more accessories to go along with them. A ranks with brand new witch outfits, helmets, hairstyles. That hair is, yep, yeah, that's pretty long hair. And uh, yeah, two different witches uh, for assuming a Halloween update of some sort. I wasn't too happy with the Halloween update this uh, year. I was hoping they'd go more crazy with it, more fun. Uh, but you know, they took a very serious vampire like an approach to it, which is okay. I understand that, but I was hoping we'd at least get one week where it was like a really cool, fun event because Halloween uh, suits that pretty well dressing up and stuff uh so hopefully we'll see this in game and uh these are really cool I, that face looks very nice on that art i would love to see that on more armors right there and uh yeah that's pretty cool design from a ranks all right the next two sets i'm going to show you are fan stuff that may or may not ever come to the game i've saw i've seen some fan stuff uh, on the news before and it showed up in game like two weeks later, so you never know, uh, but this stuff looks badass, it's null gaff gear, and uh, definitely go follow this guy, Hydroxoid, on Twitter, and uh, 
yeah, hopefully we see some more cool stuff from him. This looks, that sword, I would definitely use that sword. And the armor is very nice, although I don't really use no cast style armor like that that often. It's not my preference, but it does look very badass. And this one, goddamn, I would I would definitely wear this. It's got that mixture of like Game of Thrones looking. I don't know, it reminds me a lot of like Game of Thrones and the skeletons in Skyrim, if you replace Skyrim, have like an armor similar to that, but this looks very good. Hairstyle's awesome. Uh, every little de all the little details are so good. That's from Theon on Twitter at it's Theon. Uh, make sure you guys go follow these artists. Like it's amazing art from both these guys here. So hopefully, maybe one day we'll see some of their art in game. All right, moving on. Now this Friday is a war, and uh, yeah, as much as people love wars in AQW, I know you guys do. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the rewards are pretty decent. We got an Eternal Flame, uh, confirmed by Alina to be both Lycan and Vampire versions of the Eternal Flame. So we're getting two Eternal Flames uh, with multiple versions of the Flame. Uh, here's the tweet. Another tweet uh, for Alina replying. Happy to confirm the existence of both Vampire and Lycan Eternal Flames. Part of the month-long celebration releasing next week. And of course that was on October 20th, a week ago, so coming out tomorrow. Uh, correct. The capes are member only. So the cape part is member only. The maces will be for all celebrations. Oh, wait. Uh, so if they were daggers, it would be dual. A mace would be single. So you're going to have a single version of the flame to hold if you're a non-member. Uh, if you're a member, you'll have a cape version. So good time to get a membership right now, considering you get the upholder badge. You can buy these uh, eternal flames. And yeah membership and the monthly package is good too so pretty good time to buy a membership if there was one okay moving on we have wear pyres uh, you can expect that to be in the lichen side of the war and uh, I suggested this as a house item just threw it together in Photoshop real quick and Elena said uh, would make a mighty fine war reward or morning memento uh, depending on who wins and loses so you might see a house item like that in the future, just throw that in there. So a lot of people and we're talking about that, but it's it's a maybe. That's a maybe, like that's not confirmed. Uh, but you might see it, don't be surprised if you do see it. Uh, this is confirmed. We will see event rare surfboards themed up the Blood Moon Holiday story. Very nice looking. And I think these surfboards showed up because of this tweet. <laughs> Which, looking back on it, it's, it's got 600 retweets. So, yeah, that's people are still retweeting that. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll never get the uh, Elena wedding surfboard, but, you know, we'll get these instead. Okay, now last but not least, now I have one more piece of news to show you. But it is spoiler. It's a spoiler for the event tomorrow, and they probably don't want me to show it. Although I might put it in the thumbnail. Mm, mm. Uh, I'm gonna put a part of it in the thumbnail, but uh, the main part, yeah, I, okay, I'm probably putting in a thumbnail, so whatever, I'll spoil it for you guys. Sorry, sorry if you, well, you, you wouldn't be subscribed to this channel if you weren't looking for spoilers. There you go. Okay, so we got the Sephiria armor with very sparkly, I, this could be like a test version and it's like not fully implemented into the game, only just I'm wearing hair as normal. Um, but look at that, that's a very sparkly armor, and of course we get the animated version of the flame there. If I could zoom out some. It's flash player, it's very slow. So that's probably the vampire side of the war flame. Uh, is the other flame different? That's what I'm curious about. That, and that. No, that's the same. So, maybe there is only one flame, there's not two for each, uh, not one for each side, vampire and werewolf. But uh, yeah, there's the flame animated in game, and there's a armor, Sephiria's armor, very sparkly. And uh, you guys can see that in game, hopefully tomorrow that armor will be in game. And uh, yeah, the war starts tomorrow, and I'll be live streaming that on this channel, uh, like we do every Friday at around 6 o'clock server time. You can check that right there. Oh, it's almost 6 o'clock server time right now. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. If you're not already, I do a video like this every week where I go over all the news that is interesting to myself uh, on Adventure Quest Worlds. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Oh yeah, by the way, AQ3D just...
posted a combat update for all the classes so that I think all the classes got animation changes and a little bit of uh, redesigns and stuff like that so if you're interested in AQ3D check that out and they also have a Mogawin update running right now and other stuff like that so uh, I'll see you guys all in the next one have a great week see you guys tomorrow peace all right, if you stay till the very, very, very end of the video, even after I said goodbye, uh, I refresh the page and there is the Eternal Flame weapon and the armor no longer has sparkles on it. So that's probably what I said earlier in the video was probably true that that wasn't a fully implemented version of the armor and only also has hair on now. So yeah, same flame, but uh, there's the weapon version of it for the people that stayed till the very end of the video. Like I said at the beginning, I put all the best stuff at the end. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. Peace.